Hey DP, it's Wednesday the 23rd and I'm Heather. And I'm Dallas. And this is DP News. The Blood Drive is coming next Wednesday, April 30th. Go to dpnews.org to sign up or find the permission slip if you are a minor. But remember, you must be 16 years or older to donate blood. Seniors, if you are a lifetime member of CSF or NHS, today is the last day to turn in your application for the Dos Pueblos Honor Society Scholarship outside of Mrs. Stone's office. The candidates are chosen based on leadership, character, and service. Late applications will not be accepted. Also, now is the time to be submitting your information for senior awards. All senior award papers must be submitted to Mrs. Rehage by tomorrow, April 24th. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Rehage in her office. Today is Denim Day. Commissioners of Social Awareness Maddie and Bella have more info on what that means. Hey there, DP. I'm Maddie. And I'm Bella. And this is your social awareness update. Uh, we're going to be talking to you about Denim Day, an upcoming event on April 23rd. Uh, this is an event uh, to show awareness for sexual assault uh, in conjunction with our Sexual Assault Awareness Month. To so show your support, wear denim, any kind of denim on that day. Um, some information on what Denim Day is. It's basically a day that tries to raise awareness for what sexual consent is. So just because um, of what someone is wearing or the way they are acting in any way does not condone sexual attack. Thanks, DP. Mary Poppins' opening show is coming up this Friday, April 25th at 7 p.m. It's an amazing show, and it's like nothing you've ever seen before. So go and get your tickets before they sell out. Student tickets are $10, and adult tickets will be $12. You can earn community service hours at Elwood this Friday for the Elwood Fair from 3 to 7, and there are still many more opportunities for community service coming up and more over the summer. Go to the Career Center for more information. Don't forget to sign up for the SAT workshop put on by the Writing Center. The SAT essay requires a very formulaic approach to writing, and practice really helps. We'll have lots of tips for you, give you a practice run, and give you a chance to get some feedback on your essay as well. Workshops will be capped at 25 participants, so the sooner you sign up, the better. Clubs meeting today are Baking for a Cause Club, Paint Club, Spanish Club, Sogni, Catholic Club, Debate Club, Students Aiding and Volunteering for Earth, DECA Club, Tia Roma Club, Ceramics Club, Theater Company, Sailing Club, Virtual Enterprise, Environmental Club, Young Life, Friday Night Live, Junior Classical League Latin Club, Good Food Club, Local Colors, Humanitarian Club, Interact Club, Indian Culture Club. Well, that's all we have for your campus news. I'm Heather. And I'm Dallas. Now over to Nate and Peach with your sports. Good morning, Chargers. I'm Peach. And I'm Nate, here to bring you your sports news. This week we have lots of matches and meets to get to, so let's get to it. Tennis has continued their winning ways over the past two days, first defeating Campbell Hall High School 13-5 on Monday, and then again yesterday with a 13-5 win over San Marcos. Doubles teams of Mason Cassidy and Joshua Wang are now 38-1. and one. Singles players Patrick Corpus, Miles Baldwin, and Mason Doctorman took six sets in doubles teams of Ankush Kamani and Andrew Tefankian and Greg Stegerwald and Sanad Shabar took two sets each sealing the win. Great job, guys. The team is now 14-2, and, and a win over Ventura next week will give them a share of the Channel League title, the first one in at least 30 years. Volleyball clinched a tie for second place in Channel League with a four-set win over Ventura on Tuesday. The scores were 25-22, 25-20, 20-25, 20-25, 20-19. 20 with Santa Barbara losing to San Marcos, DP is alone in second at 5-2. A win over Buena on Thursday would give us second place outright. Matt Sessler led the Chargers with nine kills on 16 attempts and served a pair of aces. Elliot Brainerd had his six kills and Brandon Burkhard had five. 
The team is coming off a long weekend of volleyball in the, in the Santa Barbara Tournament of Champions, winning two matches and losing in the final consolation finals to Santa Barbara. Well, that's all the news that we have for you today. I'm Nate. And I'm Peach. Have, have a dandy, dandy day, DP. DP. <laughs>